welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Now, this may come as a shock to you, but I don't think it was all the covered and shooter's fault. Of course, she went in there with the gun, but you realize she had been on medication since she was six years old. So the parents and the doctors, as far as I'm concerned, are responsible. So now we find out that they wouldn't just hide the shooting because they was trying to protect the transgender. They was trying to protect these corrupt psychiatrists and doctors who had been prescribing her the medicine since she was a child. Let's be clear. Gender dysphoria is a mental illness. They need to start treating these people as it's a mental illness instead of just giving them all of these uh, mind-altering drugs that make people lucid, hallucinate. She had been taking Prozac for depression when she was in high school. Why in the hell do you think this is going to be a good idea? Her parents told the investigators that their daughter had to go through a series of medications to find one that was appropriate for her. In other words, the doctors was practicing on her and they kept getting it wrong. So I like to know all the different methods and things that they have experimented on her. They say all these side effects that she had, her legs would balloon up, swell up. It would cause severe side effects like swelling of the face, swelling of the lips, swelling of the tongue and the throat, it, it, insomnia, aggression, anxiety, homicidal uh, ideas, suicidal ideas. And you mean to tell me that these doctors didn't know any better? The Food and Drug Administration has passed all of these mind-altering drugs, and these are the people are supposed to be listening to. I believe she had been prescribed six prescription mind-altering drugs but, but, but between the period that she did the shooting. So back in school, we don't even know all the kind of drugs she was taking. I mean, they say she was treated at the Vanderbilt University Hospital since she was six years old. Who in the hell, what six-year-old is this disturbed since she was six years old? So she was diagnosed with five mental illnesses, they say. This includes like anxiety disorder, social phobia, made up, I'm sure. I think it's called dysthymia, something like that. D-Y-S-T-H-Y-M-I-A. Major depression disorder. Autism spectrum disorder. I mean, all of this came out, but nobody really got her help. They just kept giving her drugs. So the reason they've been hiding this is because the pharmaceutical company and the doctors and these so-called psychiatrists are the ones who built that Frankenstein. They're the ones who gave her the drugs. They're the ones who medicated her. And she, the reason she went up in this school is because they was giving her all this mind-altering drugs. You should be suspicious of these doctors, these psychiatrists, these so-called specialists who are doing all of this to these children. And then they're wondering why the children are suicidal. It's these filthy drugs you're giving them. And then they tell you you can't even sue the pharmaceutical company after they've given them the drugs that's caused the damn problem. People are getting worse, not better. And then they come on TV want to say that we're supposed to just give in to what the specialists say. Well, if we look at the track record of the specialists, seems to me suicide rate is up. All this dysphoria, all of this telling these children they can have a uh, a surgery when they haven't even reached puberty good and you think this is going to be a good thing cutting off body parts for no damn reason because you have a mental issues is never a good idea but now you understand why they're hiding the manifesto it ain't just to protect the transgender it's to protect the psychiatrists the doctors and the pharmaceutical company